Hello, welcome to my next trombone video. Today we're going to be going through song number 14, talking about the individual notes, the different slide positions, uh, working through it a little bit, and then playing it together. So if you need a review on the first five notes that you've learned so far, I would recommend going back to um, either of the first two trombone videos that I posted on my channel. So go back, you can find them. There I go a little bit more into depth on the first five notes. So really quickly, the first five notes that you know so far on the trombone are F, E flat, D, C, and B flat. So again, if you're unsure about the slide positions, go back to those videos, double check, or you can look at the top of page six on Essential Elements trombone book. There's a review at the very top. I'll go ahead and have it uh, at the top of this video maybe right now. Um, all right, so let's start looking at number 14. We're gonna jump right in, okay? Um, it looks like we're gonna start with just, let's just start with half of it for now. Um, so the first note we have is D, then we go to C, then B flat, then C, and then D, D, D. I lied, not the first half, first two measures. Let's just start with that, okay? So if you look at the top, you can actually match the notes in the first measure to the notes and the review at the top. And I see that the first note was on the middle line. I know from looking at the top of the page where I have the first five notes of review, um, that D is going to be the note that is on the middle line. So I know the first note is D. I see that the second note is a little bit lower than D. It's on the next space below D. I know from my many years of uh, the alphabet that C comes right before D in the alphabet. So I know that if I'm going down, I'm going backwards, okay? The next note in that song would be C. So, so far, D, C, okay? Now, it looks like the line's still going down. So now we know that the next note is lower, okay? So match it up to the notes on the review on the top and that's how you can tell it's a B flat, okay? Um, and then it goes back up to C, and then back up to D, three times in a row, okay? So let's go ahead and play the first two measures, starting on D, slide position four, let me move over here, okay? So we do D, C, B, C, D, 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 or four, six, one, six, four, four, four. Let's try it. Ready? Okay, there's the first part. So if you need to do that one more time, go ahead and uh, rewind a little bit and try it with me. Okay, the next measure, we go down to C, 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 three C's in a row. Ready? So that would be slide position six, three times in a row. Ready? Try it. You can kind of, if it doesn't sound exactly right, maybe go a little further out or try to pull it back in a little bit, but slide position six, three times in a row is C, C, C. And then you have a quarter rest. And then the next measure, measure four, we have D, F, F, or slide position wise, that would be four, one, one. Let's try that part together. Ready? D, F, F, ready? And then a rest. Okay, all right. So again, if you need to do any of those individual measures alone, separated from the rest, go back, try it on your own. And right now we're actually gonna do the first four measures together. Okay, so starting measure one to measure four. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> your turn you're gonna play it and I'm just gonna say the slide positions okay you can watch my slide I'll just say it out loud all right ready so we have D C B flat C D D D rest C C C rest D F F rest okay all right so you can go back, you can play it with me, or you can play with me saying the notes. Um, I didn't end up saying the slide positions. I showed you the slide positions, okay? Um, again, try to move that slide quick in between the positions so that you're not um, doing any sort of... It sounds, sounds kind of fun and cool, but we're not doing that just yet on purpose, okay? All right, so second half of the song starts exactly the same way, right? We do D, C, B flat, C, 
D, D, D. That part is exactly the same. So let's play that really quickly. This is measure five and measure six. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> two measures is the only thing that's different okay so last two measures starts with i'll give it to you c c up to d back down to c and then the last note is b flat so the slide positions would be like this oh six six four six one okay Let's really slowly just try the last two measures of this song. So C, C, D, C, B flat. Ready? Let's try it together. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, one more time. This is the last two measures. Ready? Rest, rest rest okay so this is already becoming a little bit of a longer video but 14 is the longest song that we've done so far so i'm going to push you a little bit we're not going to do just the second half and then put it together we're going to put the whole thing together right now okay so if it doesn't go very well that's fine rewind just play the first half the first time second time just play the second half okay and then you can go back a third time play the entire thing all the way through okay so we can do it. We got this. Let's try the whole thing all the way through. Ready? Starting from measure one. One, two, three, four. So, I even forgot how it went a couple times, had to look at my music, but we got through it. Hopefully you got through it too. Um, if you did, great job. I can't wait to see you in class. And if you didn't, that's okay. Just go back a couple times. Um, do it a little slower. That's always my biggest advice. Slow it down. Just do note by note, measure by measure until you feel comfortable on it, okay? Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to help. And I'll see you in my next video or in class. All right, see ya, bye.